Hello Grade 4 or 5. Today we're going to be talking about how we're going to create our feedback forms so that people can give us feedback on our 20% project so we can see what things we did well and what things we should be working on. Um, I will be using these feedback forms as well. But if we create our own, then we can ask the types of questions that we think, um, see if people really understood what we were talking about. So to create a feedback form, it's just like creating a quiz. So you go into your Halt and Cloud. See here's Halt and Cloud and you just click create form and it's going to ask you if you want to create it in a shared folder you do um, make sure you're doing it in your folder the one that has your name so I'm creating my form and we once it pops up here and it loads we have a few choices so start out with the title so this is Mr. S feedback form Make sure you put your name on it because we're going to have 30 of them from you guys. We should know whose is whose. Um, pick whichever theme you like. I just picked default. And right away we have some choices. So the first choice you have is um, would you like the Halton? Do you need people from Halton District School Board to log in to view this form? I would leave this one checked. This is a good idea. Um, you can automatically have it get people's usernames and if you want them to see how far along in the farm they're going it says show progress bar so this is a description so you can describe what your form is for so what's this quiz about to collect feedback from my 20 percent project so now we're actually gonna so now that we have the form we've set it all up Make sure you've clicked that you're accepting responses and that you can view responses. If you can't view them, it'll say set up responses. Just click that and it'll help you set it up. But now we're getting into the questions. So you have to think about what types of questions you want to ask. So there's a few different options and you can see all the different question types. Question type. When you hit the drop down arrow. So let's start out with a text question, which just gives you a tiny, tiny box for them to answer in. It will get bigger if they need more space, but just start off by asking their name. We want people to be responsible for their feedback, because we don't want people to be giving out horrible feedback, so we want to know who's, who's saying it. Um, and if you make the question required, they can't submit the form until it's done. So we've started out. So our quiz right now is just one question. What's your name? So now this is where we have some choices. Um, now you can decide what you want next. So we can do text questions, paragraph text, multiple yeah. choice questions, check boxes, choose from a list, scales, grids, you can add date and time, um, as well as images and videos. So we probably won't need images and videos, but maybe we want to start out asking, and these are just choices, you're going to decide how to do your form, um, how informative did you feel? presentation was question mark we're going to do a scale 1 to 10 1 being not informative 10 being I learned tons of new information make that a required question done so now we, they start off by telling me what they think. So right away I'll be like, ah, this is what they think. They've got a seven. Okay, that's not bad. Um, then we're going to start asking some different ones. Um, can you tell me two things you liked about my presentation? Required. It's a paragraph, so they've got lots of space. They can see that there's lots of space. Um, let's do another paragraph question. Two things I could have added to make presentation better. Required right, question. And maybe you want to just finish off with um, anything else. So you can choose from a list. Um, I'm going to finish off with a text, anything, 
anything else I should know? And I won't make that one required in case they don't have anything else I should know. Now I've got a four question form. How informative was it? Um, something cool is you can duplicate questions. Um, so that if you click that, you get the exact same question and you can edit it and change it. How informative did you feel my presentation was? Um, how engaging? So today your job is going to be to start off by creating a form so that you can do it. When your form is done, you can always view the live form to see how it looks. This is what my form looks like right now. Okay. Um, at the end, you can say, you can tell, like, this is what note will pop up when they've done. So for mine, I'll be, thanks so much for giving me feedback. Have a great day. And this is where you have some more choices. So you can show a link so that they can do another one, but they probably don't need to do another one, so I'm going to uncheck that one. Publish and show a link to the results of this form so they can see what other people are saying or allow them to change their work. But I would probably say none of that. And when you're all done, you get to send the form. This gives you the link so other people can use it. So you can copy the link, and in your Shared With Me folder today, and Shared With Me, there's going to be this link to feedback form. So you get to put your name, you get to put in your link. It'll come up blue, press enter, and you're good to go. Then, when we're actually doing the presentations, we can go into each person's form and give them the feedback that they need. Um, as well, I will have a link to them so I can see them, but make sure you create the form in your folder or I won't be able to get the results and I really do need them. Alright, thank you very much. I hope this all makes sense and we'll try it out.